It was a lovely sunny morning in Woollybush and it was Barbara's birthday. The vicar had promised to give her a present of something small and furry, but she feared Bernard had forgotten her birthday altogether. Silly Bernard. Still, there was always time for him to give Barbara a big one and make her day. Well, it's a lovely day for my birthday, isn't it, Fufu? Have you seen my clippers, Barbara? I think Bernard's forgotten. I think I might get round to trimming your bush this morning. Oh, goodness. What a good idea. I've been wanting that doing before the summer really gets going. Righto. I'll get straight on to it. A jolly good tidy-up is just what it needs. Righto. Oh, here comes Patrick. Good morning, Patrick. Isn't it glorious? Yes, bit chilly at first, but they say it's going to get very warm later on. Goodness, your sack looks full. I think I've got quite a few things for you today. Oh, thank you. I suppose you could say today is something of a special day. The vicar's coming round for tea, and Hattie said she'd bring a sponge cake from her shop, so I really am being spoiled. Anything for me? Afraid not. They're all for me today, as today is a special... What do you think of Barbara's bush? Needs a trim, don't you think? Perhaps just at the front. Well, all the best. Better be off. Goodbye, Patrick. Such a nice boy. Right. Well, I'm off into the village to get a few bits. I know I need eggs. I'm going to check on my bees. I'm going to give the vicar a very special present of honey when he comes for tea. <laughs> Good morning, Barbara. Oh, lovely day, isn't it? Yes, it's quite glorious. Enjoy it while we can, eh? Are you having a little trouble with your helmet, PC Bobble? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. My helmet feels very tight today. Perhaps your head has swelled. Are you saying I've got a big head? Of course not. Perhaps it's the heat. Do you know? I've only gone and picked up PC Pom Pom's helmet. Well, that explains it. I thought my helmet wasn't looking as shiny as usual. PC Pom Pom never cleans his helmet the way I do. Well, all's well that ends well. Enjoy the sunshine. Don't do anything I wouldn't. I'll try not to.
Right, so come here, my beauties. Nothing to be angry about. I hope you've been busy. Now, I just need to get at some of your delicious honey for the vicar. Well, there's no need to be angry. Hello, Babs. Little Bird told me it was your birthday today. Why, yes it is. Thank you, Terry. It's so kind of you to remember. I'm not sure Bernard has. Never mind. Come and have a quick snifter with us. Oh, Joan, that would be lovely, but I really have some errands that I... Blimey, you've got to enjoy yourself while you can. That's what I always say. <laughs> I really better keep a clear head. The vicar is coming round later. Can't be drunk and disorderly now, can I? <laughs> the old frilly Nick is coming up, is he? Yes, he's coming for tea. I know I shouldn't get too excited, but the vicar said he's bringing me a birthday present and I should look forward to something small and furry. Oh, your foo-foo won't like that. That is a worry. You know my little Fufu gets very jealous if Bernard strokes anything else. I hope you get everything you want, darling. That husband of yours ain't remembered and get him to take you for a nice day out of the old fish finger. We had a smashing time when we went, didn't we, Joan? Oh, yeah, we had a lovely time. Walked too far, mind you. Those pebbles played havoc with me, Barney McGrew. He's a slave to him, And just between you and me... We think he might have a problem with his Sergeant Grout. Perhaps he should see Dr Stitch. He's an excellent physician. I'll try and get him to go. But you know how funny men are talking about their open glories. Well, yes, that can be a problem. i really better be going. Go on. Come and have a birthday drink. I'm really not sure. We won't let you get near easy elephant. All right. Perhaps just a small one. Come along, you little monkeys. I just want the honey. Ow! Oh, yoo-hoo, Jim! Oh, I think I may need a rest. You can't be sitting there for long, lassie. You'll be getting a wet foosty. But, Jim, it's such a glorious day. I don't think it's going to rain. I may be looking bonny now, but mark my words, the miss will come sooner than you think. My willy is very sensitive to any change of pressure. Aye, better than any barometer, I can tell you. That's quite remarkable. Some folks say it's just an old wise tale, but my willy is never wrong. When it points to the heavens, I know rain is on the way. I quite agree. I mean, my Fufu certainly has hidden talents. Even the hens aren't delaying today. Bernard is always saying so. My cock is just too jiggered. I mean, not everyone can get their Fufu to dance. Well, I can't be chewing the grass anymore, lassie. I have farmer's work to do. Oh, I've got my knickers in a right old twist. Dr. Stitch, 
Do you have an appointment? It's something of an emergency. gave me quite a start. Are you all right, Barbara? You seem a little squiffy. Oh, yes, thank you, Lady Fair Isle. I'm just feeling a little unsteady. It's probably the heat. Leave her be, woman. I'm sure she's tickety-boo. Crikey, did you know there's a pig in your basket? Oh, goodness. I don't know where he came from. I've got the gun in the car. Hold on. I really don't think it will be necessary. I'll just fire a couple of rounds into the air, show who's boss. I knew a fellow once. Had a pig. Vicious brute. Beat him. In the Trossocks. Can't trust the blighters. Shoot first, ask questions later, that's what I say. Everything is fine, really. I think he's gone. Oh well. We'll keep an eye out for the little bugger. Splendid. I really need to be getting home. It got room for a tiddler if you would like lift. I think I need the fresh air, but thank you. All right then, tell it her. Trot on. Thank you for seeing me so promptly, Dr. Stitch. That's perfectly okay. How can I help you today? Is it a problem downstairs? I was trying to get some honey out from the hive, and I must have angered one of the bees, and I think I've been stung. Whereabouts? Uh, just by my back passage. Oh dear. Uh, how unfortunate. Near the outhouse. Well, nothing to worry about. I, I've examined plenty of them in my time. It's quite dark down there, and I couldn't really see what I was doing. Uh, not a problem. I'm always surprised at what some people think will fit in their outhouse. Oh, I've never tried to get anything that big in there. Just a few power tools. The lawnmower won't fit. Quite. Well, if you'd like to bend over, we'll have a look. Hmm. Something is definitely beginning to swell up. I really need to get back. The vicar is coming round at three and I need to clean up my honey. I spilt it everywhere. There's nothing to worry about. This shouldn't hurt. Ah! <laughs> at the time. The vicar will be here any moment. And where is Bernard? <laughs> oh, Hattie, do come in. I've brought you your cake. Happy birthday. Thank you. And as it's your birthday, I've brought some extras. I've got these. And I know Bernard loves getting a cream horn. Oh, thank you. I know the vicar will be pleased. He's told me how much he enjoys looking at your cherry bakewells. I think it's the size of your cherries that makes them so special. Oh, that is kind. Well, I shall let you enjoy your birthday tea. 
I will if anyone ever arrives. Vicar, would you like more tea? That will be super. And I simply can't wait to get my hands on your fondant fancies. I'd like to give you some of my homemade honey, Vicar. I hope you like it. The process was, well, rather painful. That looks quite delicious. I shall have it tomorrow morning spread all over Hattie's muffins. I do hope you enjoy your present, Vicar. I don't suppose you have anything for me, Bernard? What do you mean? Well, it's just that it's... You didn't think I'd forgotten, did you? Oh, you silly old sausage. Oh, Bernard, I knew you wouldn't really. Have you got her a present? Of course I have. I've been growing it for some time, and it's finally got big enough for me to give it to her. Happy birthday. Oh, it's quite spectacular. You're very lucky to have been able to grow one that big. I'm tickled pink. What's your secret for growing something so large? Oh, just a gentle touch and some patience. I'd be proud to show that off in my vestry. <laughs> well, Barbara, I haven't given you my present yet. Are you still hoping I'll give you something small and furry? Oh, Cecil! Happy birthday, Barbara! <laughs> I can see they're not really your cup of tea. No. I mean, I probably wouldn't have chosen them myself, but it was still very kind of the vicar. And they are small and furry. Yes. Just not quite what I had in mind. And so Barbara did have a lovely day in the end, and of course Bernard didn't really forget her birthday. The size of his gift surprised everyone, and Barbara went to bed very happy. And so night fell over Woolly Bush once more. <laughs>